I'm just going to go over. But here we go. I have noticed individually on 4chan that tranny porn seems to be a very popular thing. And I thought they were all joking. Like, in on the joke. Like, they, you know, like, oh, yeah, post your favorite... Uh, tranny is a bad word. What are you supposed to say? Transvestite? Just, just, Transgender? Just, Transgender. Let's just stick with tranny because the next word is porn. Okay, I don't know. But... I, I, like, I, let's not offend anyone when we talk about when we watch videos of them fuckings to jerk off. Like, come on. <laughs> so in my head, it was like, well, tranny porn, that's really gay, right? Like, like, like watching tranny porn. But then the argument was made that it is less gay, right? Because most porn is half girl, half guy, right? But tranny porn is ha half girl and then half, half girl, half guy. So it's 75% girl. Yeah. Okay. Wait, I'm following you. All right, so so let me help you out here. In a standard straight porno, por porno, you've got half girl, half guy. So half of your porn is a dude you're watching. Mm -hmm. In tranny porn, if you're watching tranny on female porn, which is a, a subgenre of the of the topic itself, then you've got one actual female with a vagina and a transsexual, which is half a female by Woody's uh, estimation. And so 75 out of 100... 75% girl. Debate. That and, even, and, and <laughs> even and even and by this logic, by this argument, then uh, tranny on guy porn is less gay than guy on guy porn. Of course, right? Yeah, because at least you're twenty five percent girl in that situation. It's the straightest of gay porn. Well, the okay. the logic is it seems sound. The numbers uh, check at, out. At first check. The, the numbers <laughs> check out. I, I'm running the math through my, in my head, and it makes total sense. You know? <laughs> Yeah, I, I wow. think that that's become a. I think that's a real big fetish online. I, I see. I saw Bailey. Um, I was flipping through um, Reddit the other day on my phone, and it was um, maybe it was uh, the Titty Drop subreddit, whatever that is. You know, the tit drop where they like lays the shirt and the titties fall, bounce. Oh, I, I mixed <laughs> and, them up. And, and, and there's Bailey J. Uh, like like on on that one, and I'm like, I go to check the comments to see if everybody's hip to Bailey J. They know who she is and everything, and and they all are. Everybody in there. There was like one guy who was like, "Wow, she's so hot," and then like 50 people. People going like, but she's got a dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's a she's a yeah. Like so a tranny porn there's star. there's a very two good one. Yes. tranny porn stars. One is Bailey J, and the is the other Chris Angel. Who's the other one? Isn't it Chris oh, Angel? Chris Angel? No, no Chris Angel's the strip magician. <laughs> well, okay, the I, he's the one who made of, her. Uh, he's Buck <laughs> Angel or something. Come on, come on, help me out. A Buck Angel. Buck I, Angel. Yeah, yeah. All right. You know what? Just had to get close, and then we can get there as a team. Chris so, Angel. So Chris Buck, Angel will make your Chris Angel, disappear. Buck Angel. Buck Angel will make your dick disappear. <laughs> Buck Angel <laughs> looks like a dude. Like, a, it, like he vibes, dude. He sounds, dude. If you were to see him with a shirt off, you would think, dude, he's Shaved muscular. Head, mustache, I, I think that X. he can beat either of us in an arm wrestling contest, right? And he, he's got like tattoos. He just all about. Oh, but he has a vagina. But he has a vagina. Yes. Yeah, and he was on Joe Rogan's podcast. He has real low body fat too. So like, just everything about she him is just like kind of. Like I don't know, like so prison would you, tough. Would, so and, would you do him? No, no. no. We've talked about this before. Yeah, the we, question, we both of course, comes down to: Would you fuck? Would you rather fuck this woman who looks exactly like a man except for the vagina, and that's not an exaggeration by uh, by any means? Or would you rather fuck the man who looks exactly like a woman except for the penis, and that's not an exaggeration by any means? Yeah, yeah. And of course. On. Of course you want to fuck <laughs> the man who looks exactly like a woman yeah. un unless you're just so hung up on and, and an actual homophobe. Like, I hate the word homophobe because I think it should be okay to just dislike people who are gay. You should be able to do that. But I'm not afraid of them. I don't I know, it, agree with this. I came out wrong, didn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, know, I know what you meant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, was, I was going for something different there. What, what, what you meant <laughs> is, like, wait a minute. You're, yeah. you're not attracted to homosexuals, but you're, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's what you were going least, for. In the most uncouth way possible. <laughs> right? right? Like, that like thing was put together really shop. well in my head, and then it I came just, out. I was like, "Wait, wait, that is racism. That's that's what you just yeah. I that, just, that's I bigotry. Just love, you it's can a bigotry. See the yeah. moment you realize, in in amidst all of the silence, that you said it wrong. <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, "Wait a minute, <laughs> I need to find bigotry." No, yeah. All right. So what Kyle is saying is, it's okay to be not attracted to another guy. Um, but he's saying you should be able but, to take it further but, and hate them. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you shouldn't call it homophobia because that implies you're scared of him. And in reality, you just don't want to fuck him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, those, well, that's, I mean, I don't think anybody who's intellectually honest would say those are the same things. 
Right, exactly. You no know? one who's smart is going to call what you were actually trying to describe as homophobia. Yeah. Um, that's just sensational people trying to get a rise out of you that would call yeah. you a homophobe. So, and, and to me, it came down like I totally preferred Bailey J because at least she vibes, girl. You know, yeah. look, I'll get in every you. way. Yeah, you know, the, 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 the whole experience is one of a man and, and a woman, except for the penis. Let, let me open incognito mode. <laughs> I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the I'm told. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, so yeah, I, I guess I, I wonder if this is like, see, as you get older, like when I'm 29, right? I'm like, dude, I don't know what's up. I'm still in touch. Like, you know, like I feel like oh, I know I exactly what like you the. You weren't 29 yet. No, no, no. Yeah, like when I was 29, I felt like. I still kind of got teenage culture. Like I was, you know, a hip do it all. It wasn't like, and I didn't feel even like invisible to 18 year olds or something. Right. I was married and such, but like, you know, whatever at 43, I'm like, is this what the kids are jacking to now? I don't know. <laughs> you know God like, damn it. I'm behind the time. Yeah. Like, I, I don't have any teenagers being like, you know what? If I'm honest with you, I do like the tranny. But like, it, no, that, that, that doesn't exist in my whole life anymore. I, uh, <laughs> you know, the radio in my truck it, it is mediocre, but because the tires are loud, the whole music experience is just awful. And uh, what it's done to me is I only like songs I've heard already. Right, because if I hear it for the first time, like I don't get it, I don't know any of the words. Like all you get is a suggestion of the song that might be playing over all this fucking noise. So, like it, it's it's it, musically, I'm stagnant there too, because I only like songs I've heard before, and I don't really listen to music much outside the car. So I don't like pop. I don't like like teen culture. I really despise it, and and. and- <laughs> I don't think that that's unique to my generation. I guess it happens every every single time, and I think it's for a reason. It's 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 what young people like. It's real shit, and uh, and 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 we've just wise up. Except when we bit. were young. Oh, okay. oh, we were stupid too. That shit, the fucking Britney Spears and NSYNC, that, all that was garbage. I'm that, before you. I have MC Hammer and Vanilla Ice. <laughs> yeah, all that shit was garbage. Like like, like that, that that shit was trash, and we shouldn't have been into it. We should have been fucking getting some Sinatra vinyl or something. You're I don't telling know. me that NSYNC's No Strings Attached. That came out bye, bye. in one was not an excellent CD. Look, those dance <laughs> numbers, those dance numbers were pretty fucking tight. Like they were good. Like like all the like like you know they were like the puppets. They were all like marionettes dancing and sync and stuff. And that stuff and was sync, good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Huh. But 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 ninety percent of that stuff, ninety percent of that stuff was garbage. And I think that happens every generation and every young person just has bad taste. Because you're a young person, you haven't you haven't you haven't developed any taste yet. How would you know what's fucking good? But at the time, Backstreet Boys sounded great. Sure. Backstreet. I mean, I think so. Yeah, they're the they're the first ones, right? Backstreet Boys. No. They were before and sync. I'm going for New Kids on the Block. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, New Kids on the Block was uh, before me and Kyle. I yes, think. they were my teenage years. Um, I, I remember Wings of Redemption held this story. He's like, I hated Leonardo DiCaprio. This is Wings. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio was like mortal enemies. He and, and Leonardo DiCaprio, he just like hated everything about him. And he really hated everything about him because girls preferred Leonardo DiCaprio to Wings of Redemption. And uh, now he's like, you know what? Leonardo DiCaprio is a pretty good actor. That's his current yeah. standard. That was uh, Orlando Bloom in, at, in my age group. It was New and- Kids on the Block for me. Yeah. yeah, I didn't hate Orlando Bloom though because he played Legolas, and <laughs> you give him a little bit of leeway. But yeah, it, Kyle's right; it happens with every generation. Yeah, I remember there was a girl that I, I wasn't like making a move or anything, but if she expressed any return interest, I'd have been on it. And uh, her interest seemed to be more towards New Kids on the Block than me. So fuck them, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't know what she could have had. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I think uh, we're getting pretty near the end here. How, how much? How long? How deep are we into this uh, this show tonight? Three forty-eight. Let's crack four hours so that uh, everyone's so happy. <laughs> yes, it's just yes, twelve minutes. So, so the kids these days let's acquire that silence. arbitrary number. That's the they, do. Made, they do. They do. They 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 want longer podcasts. They want longer than two hours. Yeah, Apparently. you know what? We we <laughs> broke four like a time or two. And then all of a sudden, they, they loved it so much it became the standard for us. Let us know in the comment box. How long do you? What, what do you prefer? What what length of show do you do you mm. like? Let us know. Let us know. Um, are you one other topic? I have. 
eight ways you can get on the new fly list queued up. So the no fly list? Yes, I said it. I wrong. could add. I could think of more than eight. <laughs> <laughs> I got all kinds of cool ideas. So um, this is the top eight. We'll say. So one being suspected of direct terrorist activity seems cool enough. Traveling to certain countries. Uh, if you go to the wrong countries, you can put a flag on you, and you can lose your. You can get on the no fly list. Something you said in the past. Um, here's a guy who uh, 